introduction the process of breathing in air is called respiration and that breathing out air is called expiration the number of times we breathe in and breathe out air in a minute is called the respiration rate the air we breathe in fills our lungs the width of the chest changes when air is inspired or exhaled Take a measuring tape, wrap the tape around the chest and measure the width of his or her chest. Hold the tape tightly and ask your friend to breathe in and out deeply a few seconds. Difference between inhaled and exhaled air. Exhaled air is warmer and has moisture in it. The exhaled air contains carbon dioxide. The air we breathe in does not contain only oxygen. It is a mixture of many gases. Similarly, the air we breathe out is not only carbon dioxide but a mixture of several gases. Breathing in other animals fish fishes continuously open and close their mouths in water the flaps on both sides of the head alternately open and close below the flaps there are red colored gills these are the respiratory organs of the fish the water that enters the mouth flows through both the gills comes out of the flaps the gills absorb the oxygen that dissolved in the water this oxygen is carried to different parts of the body frog frog is able to stay on land in water and even underground to breathe on land it has lungs while underground its moist skin takes over the functions of its lungs in baby frogs or tadpoles there are special organs like that of fishes called gills these gills help them to breathe in water by taking in the air dissolved in water tadpoles of the frog live only in water but the frog lives either on land or in water cockroach a cockroach has small openings on the side of its body on the outer side of the cockroach in each segment there are small holes which are connected through respiratory tubes in a network these holes are called spiracles which help the cockroaches to breathe the network of respiratory tubes called trachea takes air from these spiracles circulate it throughout the body collects it back and sends it out through these spiracles earthworm earthworm breathe throughout its whole body surface through the skin air passes in and out as it is thin and moist with minute holes respiration in plants stomata on the surface of its leaves and lenticles present on the surface of stem helps in exchange of gases in plants మా వీడియో గనక మీకు నచ్చినట్లయితే లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి ఇలాంటి మరిన్ని వీడియోస్ కోసం మా ఛానల్ ని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోవడం మాత్రం మర్చిపోకండి థాంక్యూ ఫర్ వాచింగ్